Hello, good evening. I'm Master KK from Circle 96, your modern feng shui for modern living. Um, today we're going to talk about a condominium along Sarangun Road uh, and Woodlake Lane. It's called Park Colonial. All right, uh, why are we doing this? We are doing this because we have the knowledge of feng shui and uh, we are not paid by the developers nor are we paid by uh, properties agents uh, to talk to you about the property. Hence, there's no reserve. We will tell you everything we know, everything we see. And uh, should you have uh, more questions, if you want to know more about your property, you can uh, click the link below and uh, make an appointment to come and see us with your floor plans. We can share with you more. Okay, without further ado, let's talk a bit about a property. This property is sitting on a triangle piece of land. Uh, it's between, uh, it sits off uh, up Sarangun Road and uh, Oak Lake Lane, all right, it's sitting, uh, there's a school on the Stanford American School on the bottom, that's the on the south side of the house, okay? So, we're going to start talking about the property uh, uh, from the east all the way one round, it uh, covers 12 years. We're going to talk to you and cover up to three things. First, the characteristic of the family that purchased the house, the health of the people that stay in the house, and three, the luck cycle of people that are staying currently in the house or is going to be staying in the house, okay? Uh, we have a whole library of uh, videos on different type of properties, different type of condominium. We welcome you to log into our Facebook and uh, browse through the video site and pick the one that you have purchased and you learn more about your condominiums uh, and uh, you, you, you stay with confidence, okay? This property is developed by CEL, Heaton and KSH Holdings, a total of 805 units, a 99 year free, uh, 99 years leasehold property. Okay, now let's start from the east of the house. The east of the house, east of the property, has an MRT and uh, a lake. Okay, it's going to be under, if the lake is still under construction, but there will be a lake. All right, so um, what does this symbolize? It symbolize the first thing is that the first son, the firstborn boy, you can have two sisters above him, but the first boy uh, is very much pampered. That's a late sleeper, tend to sleep late if given a choice. Uh, pampered by the parents, the teacher, the the, the bosses. All right, uh, it's a good thing. They have you cover part of the MRT station, the Woodlick MRT station, and that would be uh, very good for you. Meaning to say, there will be uh, a renty, uh, a congregation of human beings. So the first boy, it's very good. Uh, you don't have to worry about him. And then you have a condominium that's building across the street, which is on the east. Uh, it's called the Ulik Residence, the Ulik Moor. It's under construction now. So if you can recall, your 2011 would have been a very good year generally. So if 2011 was a good year, so 2023, when you moved in, the year 2023 would be a very good year as well. So if you have two children and one of them is a boy, the first boy, you don't have to worry about him at all. Okay. Uh, hi, Melissa. Nice to see you. Uh, and thank you for your referral for your friends. Thank you so much. Um, second, let's talk about the East. What does East represent? The East represents the, lead, the, 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 the lower limb of the family members, the elder son of the family members, the uh, growth of the family members, and also represents the uh, management of the uh, managers, if you are working as a manager, what do you mean? Uh, what does it symbolize for you? It symbolize that you're okay, you, you're blessed by your parents, your, your teachers, your bosses. Um, no issues here, I see about the, the children's uh, lower limb. Uh, congratulations. Um, but in the uh, year 2023 and 2022 for the transition, uh, you may have one transition period, uh, made some changes. Uh, the changes can be a good changes if you cherish it properly. It can be a change of portfolio. It can be a change of career. So that will be a good year if you want to, to change job, if you want to change job, okay? So, uh, Southeast. Southeast represents the year 2024, 2025. Uh, Southeast also represents the first daughter of the family. Now, the first daughter of the family will, will be a bit short temple, a bit quick temple, okay? Uh, may not be very tidy, or on the opposite side, will be a little bit OCD. Uh, that's because there's a Cedar Secondary School there. But this little girl, this first daughter of yours, the very first girl that is born in your family, has the heart of the older people. Uh, talks better with the older folks, interact better with the older folks, and uh, love much better by the older, older folks. Okay, So it can be a bridge between the family and uh, the, 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 the grandparents. All right? 
Uh, this is also a person that has a lot of entrepreneurship. This is also a, a girl that has uh, expensive taste, if given a choice. Uh, but the, the downside is that she has a bit of um, uh, 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 temper issues. All right, need to work on that a little bit. And uh, she can also be uh, has a lot of friendship, easy to make friends. So very good for her. Okay. Now let's talk about two zero two six. Two zero two six will be the south of the house. Congratulations! In the south of the house, you have a Stanford American International School. So every time there is a school in the south of the house, it represents a few things. What does it represent? It represents that the people staying in this house as very civilized, very polite. Okay. Second, it represents the people staying in this house are much better educated. Yes, you may say no. My children are still suffering in school. Not yet. It's a matter of time that they be very well, very well versed in their school academic work. Not to worry, give them some time. Okay. So uh, third, it also represents the lottery luck is pretty good. Okay. <laughs> yes, that's right. We all know yesterday for the twelve millions, we all didn't win it. Never mind. Chance opportunities are. You have opportunity. Okay. And you have a Proton Passe MRT station there, and which symbolizes very good. So your come 2026 will be a very good year. Cherished it. Uh, having said that, 2025 and 2026, there will be a three, three minimum three transactions. Uh, minimum three transactions. Okay, change your portfolio, change your job, change your career, uh, things like that. Okay, so not to worry. 2026 is going to be a good year. Cherished it. Uh, South also represents a second daughter. Meaning you say there's one sister, the second sister in the house. The second sister in the house will also be very blessed because uh, uh, of the school, Stanford International School, American School there. Okay, so it's very good for you. All right. Now let's talk about the southwest of the house. Southwest of the house represents the year 2027, 2028. What's it going to be like? It's going to be a very, very, very busy year for you. Okay, uh, if you can recall 2015 and 2016, was it a very busy year for you? If it is a very busy year for you, yes, 2027, 2028 are also going to be a very too busy year for you. All right, the year just flew past. All right, having said that, uh, South also represents the mother of the house, the mother of the family. Okay, um, very strong, very healthy, very outspoken. Um, only sad thing is that the mother got the decision making problem. <laughs> okay, um, but mother, uh, this mother of yours, uh, the mother of the family, can really, really be somebody that is able to uh, hold up the whole family. She's very strong in character, she is also very strong in um, her health, not to worry. Why I say she's also strong in her character? Because it, I, do you remember in the beginning of the, the live progress program, I told you that this house is sitting on a triangle ship? Yes, triangle symbolizes fire. So fire is good for mother of the house. So this house, uh, the ladies will be the one that has a bit of stronger characteristic, a bit more authoritative, okay? Uh, daddy, you just play along, la. basically you got no authority, la. okay? Uh, Yes, having said that, Southwest is also a good year for you if you decided that you want to do in business because um, in business, you really need good customer. And Southwest is strong, you have good customer. Okay, customer, they are good paying master, good pay master customer that are, uh, are willing to re recommend customers to you, referrals to you. Okay, so this is generally a very good house. All right, let's talk about the West of the house. The West of the house, you have... A lot of uh, empty space, empty land, uh, which are also the, con the attachment area for the PW PWB. Uh, you also have a bit of industrial area, a bit of school. I I think that uh, 2017 will be a generally good year for you guys if you are staying there, uh, staying uh, somewhere else. It doesn't matter, you have not moved in. If your 2017 is a good year, your 2029 is a good year. Okay, so there's nothing much to worry about to uh, the west side. The west represents the third daughter in the family. That means you have two sisters above you and the third daughter, the third daughter of the family. West also represents communications, happiness. Uh, I see no problems. I see good stuff. Uh, further away, there are built schools. Yeah, maybe for some people, um, uh, your speech will be, you just need to watch out your speech. They're not so tactless, a bit more tactful be good, okay, a bit more, uh, a, a smile will be very nice, uh, a, a bit more, um, what do you call that, uh, 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 polite and courtesy be very good, but anyway, people stay in this place are generally very, very, very civilized, because it's a triangle piece of land, it symbolizes civilization, symbolizes courtesy and polite, okay, 
Now, uh, why are we doing this for people who just watched up, uh, just catched up because we're, we have the knowledge of Feng Shui and uh, we, we just want to share this without the prejudice of the developers or the property agent. This is true purely from our own knowledge. All right. If you liked our style, come to see us, click the link below. Uh, Bring your floor plans so we can tell you more about your characteristics of your family, health of your family members, and the luck cycle for your family for the next 12 years. Okay? Without giving us your parts or your Chinese name, we, all we need is your poster code and your floor plans. Okay? Now, um, we've got a full library of other condominiums in our Facebook video. So go and check it out. Also, can send your friends to go and check it out if they just purchase. If you have any other condominiums that which you want us to join, uh, tell you, please let us know. Uh, write to us and then we can... Uh, Area. Okay, now let's talk about the northwest of the house. The northwest of the house has uh, Avion Park, a little bit of Avion Park, has a single power institute. Uh, daddy and a family, usually a bit more uh, 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 better taste, more expensive taste. Daddy and the family also has someone in the family, not just daddy, someone in the family probably will have migraine problems. Watch out, okay. Uh, authority problems, be challenged by people. Uh, if 2018 and 2019, just re just recall, not just daddy itself, but generally everybody in the house, did you all get betrayed? Was there somebody who just borrowed money and never returned to you? Was there people who stepped on your back? If there are, uh, you need want to watch out again for 2030, 2031. Why? Because uh, Old Lake Park and uh, has, on know, Northwest has two bow and arrow shooting directly at you. If you are also experimenting currently, experiencing experiencing some problem with your bosses, uh, it also is an indication that your Northwest need to watch out, need to be uh, strengthened. Okay, uh, but Daddy, generally speaking, your Daddy, how part of the house, uh, happy go lucky people, uh, very uh, sociable people, hardworking people, uh, expensive taste, um, and people who stays in. Uh, Park Colonial, highest chances that you can move to a landed property if you work hard and if you want to have a landed property. Okay, go ahead, no problems. Daddy, usually very capable. Okay, um, let's talk about the north of the family. The north of the house is also represents the second boy. You have one boy, second son, the second son of the family. Uh, it also represents the memories, the, strat the, the, the strategies, the kidney function of the family. This is my concern. It's a bit weak, okay? Uh, if you're a second boy in a family, you may want to take care of him a bit more. It could be his luck is not as good as his eldest brother or siblings. Uh, uh, his health, you need to take a, take a, take a more uh, deep look into it. Generally, everybody in a family, you need to look into your kidney and your pancreas. Okay, these are something that we want to stress. If memories is not your best uh, uh, performance in your family, you may want to look into it as well. Okay, memories is really not good. It's a bit challenging. There is a wood lake underpass on the north hand side of your house. Uh, that one symbolizes a bit of uh, uh, issues this coming 2020 because north also represents a year 2020. You may want to hold back in any investment. You may want to hold back any uh, uh, traveling. Uh, Especially now we know uh, Corona, this virus is 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 is, is rampant. Um, please hold back all all investment and traveling plans because uh, the north has this wood lake underpass and it's really not good at all. Okay, um, so congratulations for people that is has three sons. The third son, uh, the third son has an MRT station. It's called a Wood Lake MRT station, just at the east. It's also part of the MRT station covers the northeast and the east. Uh, when there's MRT station, it symbolizes good, uh, good things happen. So uh, career-wise, I don't have to worry. But people who are staying in uh, Park Colonial, I would strongly suggest you work for an MNC or you work in an overseas, uh, overseas situation. That means you are an expatriate working for an over in another country posting outside of Singapore or if you're looking for a local company in be in charge of the foreign side that means the export side or in, or the import side of the stuff or of the, of the of the things that in the office you thrive better when you work for an MNC okay don't work for a, a local company so northeast also represents the third son that means you have three boys this is the third boy okay uh tendency that he thrives better when he's overseas so do you see a son uh, migrating tendency of him migrating is very high okay 
uh, you also see MRT station, Serangoon, sorry, um, MRT station on the northeast side, which is very good. So, yeah, this boy needs to travel, needs to be away from the family, then he thrive. So, if he has plans like that to travel or migrate, encourage him, not the issue, okay? So, we have covered 12... Uh, 12 years, we also covered all the eight cardinals representing the family members. So, I'm Master KK from Circle 96. What you do is that if you have, if you like us, please follow us on our Facebook, like our, 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 our Facebook, and also you can recommend to your friends to look into our Facebook videos because we have a lot of other condominiums that we have analyzed, a library of them. Ask them to look through if they like something. Ask them to click and then uh, make a reservation to come and see us with the floor plans. We can talk to them and tell them more. We don't need your parts. We just need to have your address, your postal code. Okay. So thank you for Amelia for uh, watching. Amos, hi. Send my regards to Sun and uh, uh, San E. G. Yong and uh, Melissa. Yes. So thank you very much, everybody. Uh, have a nice weekend. And uh, this is Master KK signing off. Bye bye.